In this video, we are going to talk about how to simplify fractions with large numbers. So let us start with this example. We have 48 over 60. Notice that both numbers are even. When you see that, you can start by dividing the top and bottom numbers by 2. Whatever you do to the top, you must also do to the bottom of the fraction. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 60 divided by 2 is 30. These numbers are still even, so if we want to, we can divide by 2 again. Half of 24 is 12. Half of 30 is 15. Now, 15 is not an even number, so we cannot divide by 2 anymore. But both 12 and 15 are divisible by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the answer for this example is 4 over 5. Now for the next example, we have two even numbers, 56 over 72. We can start by dividing both numbers by 2. Half of 56 is 28. Half of 72 is 36. Still even, so divide by 2 again. That gives us 14 over 18. These are also even, so divide again by 2. Now we get 7 over 9. Going back to the original problem, if you recognize that 56 and 72 are both divisible by 8 from the beginning, you could have just divided both by 8 and got the answer directly. But if you are not aware of that, just divide by 2 step by step. Now go ahead and try these two examples. 27 over 63 and 45 over 60. Try to simplify the fractions. For 27 over 63, we do not have even numbers, so we will not try dividing by 2. But both numbers are divisible by 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 63 divided by 9 is 7. So the answer is 3 over 7. What about 45 over 60? We cannot divide by 2 because 45 is odd. But both numbers end in 5 or 0, so we can divide by 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now both 9 and 12 are divisible by 3. Divide them by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the final answer is 3 over 4. Let us try one more example. 65 over 100. If both numbers end in 5 or 0, they are divisible by 5. 65 divided by 5 is 13. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So the answer is 13 over 20. To recap, if both the numerator and the denominator are even, start by dividing by 2. If they are odd, check if they are divisible by 3. If both numbers end in 5 or 0, try dividing by 5. You can also divide by other numbers if you know your multiplication tables well. But for most problems, dividing by these numbers is quite common. Before we wrap up, here are a couple of practice problems for you to try on your own. 1. Simplify the fraction 42 over 63. 2. Try this one as well. 28 over 70. Take your time, pause the video if you need to, and when you're done, feel free to leave your answers in the comments. I'll be checking. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. And if you want to keep learning more math with me, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any future lessons. Thanks again for watching. I'm James, and I'll see you in the next video.